Okay, that's close enough what we need. All right, we're gonna we're working the valve timing here, cam timing. So I just got done screwing around for about a half hour playing around with cam lobes because I couldn't understand what the hell I was looking at over here in my cheat sheet. Turn that off. So this was getting confusing, so I re I remade it so I can understand it. <clears throat> so this is the real world numbers laid out in a format I can understand. These are intake valves, these are exhaust valves, these are laid out how they are in the motor. Exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. So now you can see exactly what's going on. The relationship matters. So basically right now, the rear cylinder cams right here, is this group, and then the front cylinder here is this group here. And then we have two different cam timings here. The exhaust cams are slightly different. The lobe center is 103, 104. This one's 91 and a half, 96. So we have a five degree error on the intake. The exhaust, we only got a degree and a half of error. Degree and a half I can live with. This here's our problem. So, and we got to figure out if we want to make it go faster or make it go more torque. So we're going to go more torque, this one. So we're going to change this lobe here to match this one. So I got to make these timing open and closing points match this one over here. This one's 30, 33, this one's 25, 20, 38, I mean. They're same valve overall timing, 243, but the location where the open and close is off. And that affects our TD. This is 175 TD, this is 153 TD. And the lobe center changes. The exhaust, on the other hand, you look at them over here and here. They're only one degree different, 45, 44, 16, 18. So this cam's one degree less than this one. This cam here's 241 duration, this one's 242. Close enough. TDs are within an eighth valve of each other, and the lobe center is only a different degree and a half off. So the, <clears throat> the exhaust is not the problem, the intake is the problem. When I'm changing the timing over here and screwing around like I was doing, I'm affecting both lobes. And either way, it's an 18 or 20 degree change, and I only need 5 degree difference. So playing around over here is not going to help, the problem makes it worse. That's why I was getting all confused and wacky. And I didn't even realize I was only playing the intake until I made this chart. I wasn't, it wasn't clicking in my head with all this information over there. I'm going to lay it out so it makes sense. Okay, so basically the intake cam is off on the front cylinder. This cam needs to be cut and moved. Point blank, that's what needs to be done. So you pull this crap out of here. You pull this lobe off. This lobe's been welded. i got to go cut the welds off so I can move this lobe, put it where I want it to be, and re-weld it back on. That's what needs to be done to fix this problem. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, we're going to go modify this lobe. If you want to know what we've talked about before, go read uh, the very last, the previous video. We'll tell you what all those numbers mean over there. Okay, so we got to get this thing cut off. Uh, I don't know if he welded the shaft into the gear or not. You can see where he, it was beveled and then welded. And I don't know how much penetration he actually had on this thing. So I'm going to try to push this shaft out. It's dialed in on this side over here, so you have to push it out this way. So let's go see if it'll move. If it doesn't move, we'll just cut the lobe off and make it move. One way or the other, that lobe's going to move. Whatever it takes. Let's see, actually, all I do is push it. Out. I don't need no fancy tool for this. I just stick it right on top of here and don't squeeze, squeeze. Boom, like that. Okay, it didn't appear to be moving. Do you see it moving? I don't see anything moving. Okay, six tons of pressure didn't move. You know what that means? It's welded in. It means I indented my block a little bit. That means it's welded in. So now we're going to go cut that damn thing off. Well, we don't want to cut the whole cam in half. Not with the trouble we've had already with that cab. Now, I don't know how much penetration you got because I have to be able to rotate it on the shaft. One of these two pieces has to break free. <laughs> I don't know how much it penetrated. And it looks like he's got a lot of penetration on both. I'm thinking this one's welded to the shaft. See how much more penetration on this side he has than this side? So I'm going to concentrate my cut on this side of the weld here. And hopefully it'll free this up on the shaft. Because I think the shaft is welded on this side. See that? So, going back and play with that. This is going to come apart. 
if they don't weld these gears so much. Okay, we can use this one or this one. I'm going to use the bigger one. So basically, we go right in here and don't cut it in half. Don't cut the shaft in half. Don't cut the shaft in half. We'll cut into the shaft a little bit, but don't cut it in half. Okay, I'll light over here so I can have to see what I'm doing a little bit. First problem is you got to get over here where the weld starts. The weld starts on this side. It doesn't really help all that much. The weld needs to be, it needs to be right here where I can see, which it isn't. So that doesn't do a damn thing for me. Okay, so I'm going to go right here in the center of the weld. And I'll lean more toward this direction when I'm doing it. Guess how deep it is. See how thick that is? Mm -hmm. That's about how deep you really need to go into it. So I don't think I'm quite deep enough. You see, I'm cutting more on this lobe than this lobe. So hopefully it'll break free. Okay, I'm gonna take this around some more. I'm gonna start coming back in a little bit this way though. spot right there I'll knock that down If you hold a device like that and you hit it with a hammer and it moves, we know we're good. <laughs> okay, let me go get a punch and a hammer. I'll be right back. I'll look at the I'll look at it. Is there a hot spot or is that slag or something there? What are you looking at? Right, right. In the teeth? Or Be in between? No, yeah, between the two. In between there? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That was a light look. That's where the original cut is. That's, oh, okay. That's the original cam. That's the only place he didn't weld. 
Okay. Everything else has been welded. But see, you got to make sure it's deeper than what this is here. So you look at the depth. Yes. That looks deeper than this. I mean, I should have cut all the way through. Yeah. But I want to cut through the whole shaft, obviously. It weakens the shaft when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Could be some issues. Okay, so you got a bigger place you want to mark it at. So we can get back to where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it right here. That. Got to get as close. Five degrees is not much of a change, believe me. Okay, so now I'm going to put this over here. Tighten the hell out of it. And let's move it one way or the other. Let's try this way. It moved. So the mark's different now? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's free. Now you can come back and weld it back up again. Which way did you move it? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to find out, though, when we put in the motor. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go clean this up. We'll be back. All right, so we got the load moved over about uh, maybe about half a degree. It's hard to tell. Or half a tooth. Half a tooth is 10 degrees. Or nine. You know what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to try to put this back together and do a check. Okay, first thing is first. This lug goes over here. Gasket yeah, stays. Here's our new lobe. Boom. Oh, no problem. So we slid out a little bit, I guess. We're not hitting on the, the lifter block. You just want to go across there right now. Sit in here. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. And we opened that one up already. Is this one we were working on already? Yeah. Yeah, it needs more work. Too much lift. I'm leaving a mark in there. You can find it. Okay, there's our two marks there. There's this one. Good. There, there, there. Frank doesn't want to stay put. Yeah, it holds it. Okay. There's that one. There's that one. You should be right there. Doesn't seem to be going in the bushing. I think it is the bushing is the problem. Maybe it won't rotate. It's hitting on something. My guess is the lobes are the problem. The lobes are probably hitting each other in the back. I can't see, but that's probably what the problem is. Can we rotate forward a little bit? Sliding together a little easier. I back it back up where I can check the timing. The lobes are just basically they're interfering with each other right now. Okay, so that mark is right there. That one's right there. We're good there, and we're good right here. See? Mm -hmm. Your light on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, so that all should be where it belongs. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to have to actually have to degree this and then have to put this on. They're just not going together now. He never wants to slide together for some reason. There it goes. I don't know what I did, but it slid in that time. It slid all the way in, see? <clears throat> so now we got a couple clearance issues we got to deal with. We got tight cam gear and we got a tight lifter block over there. Now that lube might have slid out a little bit. That's why it's doing it. Or actually, a lifter block it's it's closer, not further. I ground so much metal weight, maybe it moved in a little bit. I don't know. We only had a few foul clearance. Sharp. Okay. Zero right there, a little under. Mm -hmm. Four and a half thousands. Mm -hmm. Almost five thousands of that around that load has on it. It's a lot. That definitely affects everything else too, believe me. Okay, we're gonna zero it out right there. Okay, what number are we shooting for over here? We want this to be 25 degrees before top dead center. It's just like that one, yeah. That's what we're shooting for. So I'll back this thing up. 53. It appears we're off a little bit. We want what, how much, 25? 25. 10, 20, 30, 43. So we're at 43 degrees. So which way did we move it? I don't know. What was it before? It was 30 before. Yeah. Now we're at 43. What's that tell you? It's way advanced. We went the wrong way. We went a long ways. <laughs> went a long ways the wrong way. Yeah. So we want to be, we want to beat that load down. To get it, we want to beat it this direction down. Any luck, I can come in through here with a hammer and beat on the lobe and slip it over a little bit. Now take the whole motor part. See that lobe right down there? It's going to go like this with it. Did move quite a bit, way too much, I bet. We'll find out. Well, at least we can do it without taking the whole thing apart. That's a plus. <laughs> I like that. But I definitely hit it too hard. It moved a lot. <laughs> it definitely felt like it moved. Okay, pick that up. Okay. Zero changed by three thousand. Jeez. Okay, let's back this thing up. Oop, too far back. Okay, we want to go this way about oh, about to there. Okay, where are we supposed to be? <laughs> Twenty twenty-five. We're on the wrong side of the lobe anyway. Where are we at? I'm going backwards. Okay, I need to be on this side. 
I was on the wrong event. <laughs> We're on the opening side now. 53. Okay, we are at... I moved it a bunch, but we're at 31 right now. 10, 20, 30. Mm -hmm. 31. So you want to go another six degrees. So I moved it a bunch, but it didn't, it wasn't a ton. Okay, so we are off. Now, theoretically, the lifter's on the lobe. If I beat on the lifter, it'll move it down. <laughs> Opening up right now. Theoretically, that should make it move. That move a lot. <sighs> okay. All right, top dead center is right there. Zero is right there. Go all the way around. Degrees. We were at 30 degrees, so we moved at one degree that time. <laughs> one, two, three, got it. All right, so. This is not good for your indicator, but. Can you hold this up here, right here, a needle? See how much that thing dropped? <laughs> thing moved a lot. Look at that. It's close. Yeah, it's real close. close yeah. Real close. Uh, check, yeah. Uh, did the zero move? Probably, it moves every time we hit it. Yeah. Keeps changing a lot. Two thou. I don't know why it keeps changing either. It shouldn't be changing each time we do it, but it is. There's zero. It repeats. We're right there. Okay, exhaust should be opening here at some point. Ugh. Exhaust is up. Exhaust is down, intake's coming up. 53 degrees right there. We are at 26 degrees. One, two, 26. We want to what, 25? Yeah. One degree off. One degree is our air and our number. Yeah. You want to know how much that changes it? There's one degree. <laughs> That's 3,000 difference. So much it changed it. So let's see here. If I can beat this back down without hitting the indicator. Oop. That was two. Let's see if we change our indicator a little bit. Oh, that's pretty close. There's our zero. Change it just a tick. Zero. Honk. Let's try that again. Go back around again. Come up. TD is right there. And it's so different. Impression stroke. Keeps 
changing a little bit. spot that's why there's lots of marks in the flywheel that's the one I want keeps changing that one thou makes a big difference we're changing half a thou at a time there's a couple laps around zero is right there okay we repeated so I'm gonna go with it now Five. Right on 25. Okay. Right on the money. Cool. Okay. So that one's good. I wonder if it'll stay there when we weld it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and check this other one now. Make sure nothing moved. Make sure we're not out of phase. Okay, we're on a compression stroke now. TD should be coming up. Right there. Zero. Two times around. TD, uh, TD is right there. And we're on zero again. Mm. Okay, so. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Yeah, it's moving too fast. 53. Okay, what if our exhaust before bottom dead center 44 degrees? 10, 20, 30, 40, 4, right on the money. Yep. So that number is good. All right. Nobody home. Who's sneaking in there? Oh, geez. <laughs> that does not look like a wheel bearing. So this is the kind of part you put in your twin cam, huh? No, that's in a single cam. Damn, these are uh, some really nice components to be putting in some hot rod bike. I don't think I'd recommend running this rusty crap or anything, but... Hi, buddy. You can do what you want. I need a... Uh... All right, let me get this done. You're bothering me. <laughs> Close that front door. Do you leave it open? Oh, it's cracked a little tiny. Yeah. yeah. Let the dog out. Or let the cold air in. Your choice. Okay, so... Now we have to take this all apart, weld that gear up, put it back in and chuck it again. Okay. And make sure you didn't screw it up the first time. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah. Just go, think we'll be able to handle that? Yeah. Uh, do you think I can weld it without screwing it up? <laughs> you know, we'll get Scooby to do it. Scooby, I got the butt end of the deal. There's a Scooby dog. Yeah, there's a Scooby dog. All right, we'll be back. Mm -hmm. It's still working. Okay, got this one all welded up. I didn't weld it here up on top. I don't want any more heat in that lobe area. We got the bottom half, that's plenty. Even at the very bottom, you don't really need to do, but it had a, such a big gouge in there, I want to weld it up. All right, so that's pretty good. So now we're gonna stick it back together and do a, a check on it and make sure it's what we need. You know it didn't move, did it? <laughs> All right, here you go. Back in here, I'm gonna double check our fitment of our teeth now. Next, right. let's see over 
there. Move that clothes pin out right there. Okay, back you up a little bit. Okay, that looks good, 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 good. All right, that should all be where it belongs. Tits. Well, you want to see that one go up and down too? <laughs> TD is right there. Came back pretty close. Okay, let's see what we got for welding. There's three thou up. Three and a half up. Damn, that's a lot. No negative. Up oh, there's a negative on the back side. Three, three and a half on the positive side. That's so you're gonna lose that. Out. You're gonna lose if you have seven thou clearance. You only really have four because mm -hmm. it's gonna eat up all that extra clearance, which is bad. Oh well, it is what it is. Drops back down to a little over one just before it opens the valve. Fifty-three right there, and we're at twenty-five. Ten, twenty-five. Yep. Yeah. That's the number we're looking for. So now we should be 38 on the other side. Uh, okay, 38 back up. Oop, right there already. A little bit past. Dropping, 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 dropping. Come on, drop, drop. One more style. Yeah, close enough. 53. Okay, so that's after BDC. 10, 20, 39. Should be 38, we're 39. Huh. 
So we're one degree. Yeah. We pick up a degree in there somewhere. And that's because of that floating zero, I'm sure, because one thou up and down will affect us by a degree at some point, a couple thou variable. So we're right where we want to be. So now this is, uh, we have this number for both lobes now. Mm -hmm. so, so that's right on the money. So in our exhaust lobe, we're only off by the uh, one degree, mm -hmm. theoretically. So those have all been changed. Let's use a real pen. Uh, so now we're going to make this 25. And we were 39, I think, so we came up with yes. this time. So that makes us 244 degree. We picked up a degree, but that's a questionable on that one. The 25 is solid. Yes. Looks like you're dropping down pretty heavily on the lobe, coming down the other side, so it's in there. Now the TD number is going to be different over here in that TD lift. Now that is on the overlap stroke. That's right here. TD is right there, 155.155, so that came right in line with the other one at 53, mm -hmm. which is what we're looking for. That's closing, let's check our number again. Change slightly. TD. Oh, we're going backwards. No wonder. No wonder things are different. Right there. Okay, our zero still looks good. Fifty-three. Right on that twenty-five. TD overlap, there's a hundred, right there, 54 that time, 54, okay, I'm closing, but it comes quick, I'm going to use this to turn it with, 3, 10, 20, 30, 34, what are we at, before or after, we're at after, aren't we, uh, let's see, after bottom dead center, 10, 20, 30, oh, that's 40, okay, so we're at 39, yeah, we're pretty solid at the 39 number, mm -hmm. so we picked up one on that, and we got zero again up here, right there, our zero's back, mm -hmm. It goes right past TD, it goes right to 3 thou. So right when the cylinder fires, you lose all your clearance. <laughs> right when you need it. <laughs> right when the valve needs to be closed for sure. Yes. We're up to, there's 4 thou extra right there. But this area right after TD is where all your cylinder pressure is right here. Because instantly it starts going up. See, 1, 2, 3. So we're definitely going to have to make sure that valve is on the loose side. Okay, so I'm pretty good with that. The lobe center should come in right of this one is here now. It might change the core half that degree maybe. I'll go look at my computer and see what it comes in at, but the lobe center is going to come back where we want it to be, I'm sure. Now this one only has 410 left, it said. Let's see if that's true. Now we picked up an extra 3. We're 13 now. And I'm sure that's because of that floating zero again. This is 413 now, 413. That one says 414. Yeah, so it's coming back in line with it. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So everything's centered up like it should be. So now we got to get the, um, we got to make the lapping of the gear tees so the gears are not so bad over here. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to stand back a little bit. So we want to get the, uh, this to crank to turn over freely right here. Right now we have some gear bind on our shaft, on the gears inside. So 
So we'll have to lap the teeth a little bit to get it the high spots out, and then we'll be fine. All right, that's it for today, I guess.